We have an update, everyone. We have an update on the um, frame by frame analysis plus two Yi Heng Wang situation. Carter Kukala has just made a statement about an hour ago at the time of recording this on the WRC statement by f on frame by frame analysis post on the w WCA forum. I'll put a link to that in the description. I'll try and put a direct link to Carter's um, post on that post. Do you know what I mean? Carter's sub post where he's announcing this is on that post. All right, that was boring, wasn't it, everyone? Listen, slight bit of context. I'm on holiday right now. I'm at a lovely little place in the country. It's chucking it down with rain because I'm British and that's my destiny. That's what happens when I go on holiday. Um, and I have no gear with me. I cannot edit this, so all I've got is my phone. I'm just gonna read through Carter's statement and maybe make some, some commentary on it as well. Okay, so here we go. Carter posted in the WRC statement on frame by frame analysis, um, top level post on the forum, dear WCA community. Thank you for your patience and support as this situation has unfolded. Your ongoing support is vital to our success and growth. <clears throat> no worries, Carter. I appreciate you and all the work you do. With support from the WCA board of directors, the WRC has decided to retroactively apply the previously announced approach to frame by frame analysis to various past results. All right, big change because initially they said we'll do frame by frame analysis now, but we are not going to do it retroactively. That's what made people mad. That is what now has been reversed. And it sounds as though the WCA board support this as well, right? With support from the WCA board of directors, they're going to retroactively apply the frame by frame analysis approach to past results. The process is documented in this incident log. So there's a little link here. You can go and have a look at the incident log. That would be exciting to look at as well, wouldn't it, champions? The WRC reviewed several past results that fell under the criteria listed in our approach to frame by frame analysis and voted on each of the attempts individually before coming to a final decision. Per the approach, only the timer starts could be penalized. Timer stops were not to be anal analyzed with frame by frame analysis. Still not 100% sure how I feel about that. I feel like if we're doing starts with frame by frame and we've got frame by frame, why would we not do stops as well? Maybe I'm being slow and missing something on that, but I don't understand why we would do starts and not stops, but whatever. Whatever, Trevor. Attempts were only penalized if the WRC determined with a strong degree of confidence that regulations were violated. Sure thing, Carter. Much of the discussion surrounding this issue has been related to the 0.782x2 world record average by Wang Yiheng. Duh. After analyzing these attempts, frame by frame, the WRC determined that multiple attempts were in violation of the WCA regulations. That's not going to be a surprise to 99% of you watching because you are going to know that these are controversial as well. Oh, I just realized I'm doing this in my bluey pajamas. Uh, that's cringe. Never mind. Uh, the results from our findings in reference to the 2x2 two two world record are summarized below. All plus two penalties are due to violations of regulation A4B. I'm just clicking through on that on the super slow holiday Wi-Fi. A4B, the competitor uses their fingers. Okay, so that's the finger one. And um, A... And all, okay, so all plus two penalties are due to violations of regulation A4B. That's about the fingers on the timer. And all plus four penalties are due to violations of A4B and A4B1, which is about touching the, the cube. Well, let's just double check that, Michael, before we go making statements. That's got to be the one about touching the cube before the timer started, right? Yeah. The competitor must have no physical contact with the puzzle while starting the solve. Sure thing. So um, in the point seven eight two by 2 wr average, they've penalized attempts one, two, three, and five. Attempt one's getting a plus four, so that's both fingers and touching. Attempt two's getting a plus two, so that's just fingers. Attempt three's getting a plus two, that's just fingers. And attempt five is getting a plus four. Did I just spit? That's gross. You can go and um, argue about whether, whether attempt four um, should have got one as well. I don't really care. Um, and they're also penalizing the 0.92 by 2 WR2 average at the... Um, Dalian open uh, attempt two. They're given a plus four, so he's getting done for fingers and touching the puzzle on that uh, attempt two. So that means that point nine wr two average is going as well. So does that mean that the what wr is gonna be point nine two? I don't know, and I 
I, I might look that up at the end of the video. Let's we'll, we'll see if we can find that out. You all know I'm not very good at looking at the WCA records website. A public report on the analysis conducted on these attempts can be found here. There's a link. Information regarding other penalised results will not be released publicly out of respect for these competitors' privacy. This is very important, little Timmy. Okay, so listen up and listen good. Carter said it. Now, old mate's saying it as well. Don't go, don't go hunting, don't go hurting, all right? Don't go chasing people, don't go, don't go um, hassling people. We request, this is coming from Carter, we request that the community does not attempt to widely publicize the identity of those penalized and, in respect, and is respectful in discussions surrounding these incidents. Be nice, all right? Be nice. Um, uh, on the subject of, oh gosh, on the subject of being nice, I'm not sure if I've um, referred to Carter as he or not in this video. If I have, sorry, they. Uh, if I haven't, then why did I bring that up? I can't remember what I've said. The rankings will be updated to reflect any changes so shortly. Any appeals regarding the decision must be made by an affected party to the WAC, the Commu Appeals Committee, within 60 days of the announcement as per the dispute's motion. Okay, so what he's saying here if you are one of the people affected by this, you can appeal it. They will listen to your appeal via the WAC. So we have the option to appeal. That's cool. There's no appeals being shut down here, which was another thing that made people mad about the first thing. The first announcement by the WCA board and the WRC, which seemed to be bypassing. Didn't it? Didn't it bypass an appeals process? Community members are encouraged to forward any results fitting the criteria for frame-by-frame -frame analysis privately, privately to the WRC at regulations at worldkeepassociation.org if they believe that the regulations were violated. So no public call-outs here, everyone. We now have a means of asking the WRC privately to take a look at um, suspected sliding or suspected thingy touching before the um, timer starts incidents privately by emailing them all right let's not let's not do hectic call outs or anything we can do this in a in a nice way once again we would like to give you our deepest thanks to the well, we would like to give you our deepest thanks to the community typo for your patience as we discussed and made this decision you know what uh, big props to carter again here because right at the start they said hey we're working on it and that's all they had to say to stop people going, what's going on? What's going on? The board could learn a lot from how Carter has conducted themselves in this process by just saying, hey, we're working on it and we'll get back to you ASAP, all right? That's all you need to say to stop people raging out about time timeframes and stuff or given a specific time frame. Once again, we would like to give you our deepest thanks to the community for your patience as we discussed and made this decision, ensuring that the WCA regs are followed and maintaining the integrity of results at WCA competitions continue to be the WRC's utmost priority. Signed, the WCA Regulations Committee. There's a ton of comments on this as well. Um, people have, um, have thoughts on it, of course. Um, let me see now, can I, without being a total goon, can I see what the new standings are for two by two? Uh, let's go two by two. Let's go, um, is it history? Oh gosh. And let's go average. Where average? Oh no, I do, I, this happened to me before. Mixed history, hey. Okay, so as far as I can see, as far as I can see now, it looks as though Zane Kanani's 0 0.92 is the world record average right now, and Yi Heng's 0 0.93 is WR2. So that's actually massive, because it looks like with that plus four, they gave one of his attempts at... Um, at the Dalian Open, giving that 0 0.49 a plus four. Is that affecting that? No, 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 that's a different event. That's a different event, so ignore me. But what I can see from the website right now, and this is what I can see, all right? It looks as though, um, it looks as though Zane Kanani is now the 
world record holder. If I'm wrong, I will be told so in the comments, and that's fine. You can go ahead and do that. So that's interesting, isn't it, everyone? That's the end of my cool story. That's the end of this cool video. Thank you for dealing with um, whatever this is. Look, here we are. It's just chucking it down with rain, but it's beautiful, and that's fine. Anyway, um, lots more videos to come this week. They're all preloaded, so I don't have to deal with them. I just thought it'd be worth jumping on and doing something now. Peace, everyone. Be nice. All right, you little rats. Be nice to people. Don't go, don't go publicly calling out suggested sliding, just like Carter said. Don't, don't, don't be a jerk. Is that clear enough? Let's just not be jerks, shall we? What's happened has happened. We can all discuss it. I'm sure I'll make more videos on this to follow. Anyway, now I am going. Goodbye.